Weight Shift Control Introduction, 1-1 Today, we delve into the fascinating realm of weight shift control, WSC aircraft, a domain where the artistry of flight is painted upon a canvas of pivoting wings and dynamic center of gravity manipulations. So, let us embark on a journey through the evolution, history, and unique characteristics of these airborne wonders. Our odyssey begins with humanity's timeless gaze towards the heavens, fueled by legends and dreams of flight. From the Middle Ages, where the visionary Leonardo da Vinci conceptualized flying machines, to the pivotal year of 1874 when German engineer Otto Lilienthal took to designing, building, and soaring through the skies with bird-like wings. Lilienthal's pioneering spirit led to a series of successful hang glider designs, setting the stage for powered flight. In 1903, the Wright brothers propelled gliders into powered flight, birthing the airplane as we know it, the Wright Flyer. However, as demands for faster and heavier aircraft grew, the simple, flexible wing was deemed insufficient. Rigid wings with mechanical aerodynamic controls, such as ailerons and rudders, took center stage, dominating military and commercial applications. Yet, the dream of bird-like, flexible wing flight lay dormant until 1948 when Francis Melvin Regallo birthed a flexible wing design, initially conceived as a flying toy kit. The Regallo wing's journey diverged into military and sport flight in the early 1960s. NASA's development of the Regallo wing into the Peressive, later the Parai, marked a milestone. Concurrently, Sport enthusiasts like aeronautical engineer Barry Palmer and John Dickinson of Australia embraced the Regalo wing for hang gliders and explored its potential for weight shift control aircraft. The 1970s witnessed the rise of the hang gliding craze, with the first powered aircraft based on Dr. Regalo's flexible wing concept emerging in 1967. As adventurers and entrepreneurs delved into manufacturing Regalo wings for sport, the hang gliding community thrived. Notable advancements, such as a flexible wing with a changing airfoil for optimal performance, marked a new era of high-speed capability, exemplified by the double-surface patented wing in 1978. In summary, the WSC system, rooted in the virtues of the Regalo wing and innovations by enthusiasts like Palmer and Dickinson, ushered in an era of easy setup, portability, and exhilarating flight. The hang gliding community burgeoned, giving rise to stable, high-performance modern hang gliders soaring majestically through the mountainous terrains. Evolution of motorized hang gliders and the birth of light sport aircraft. Our expedition into the skies of innovation continues as we navigate through the late 1970s, witnessing a pivotal moment in aviation, the integration of motors into hang gliders. In the late 1970s, as hang glider performance soared to new heights, the marriage of engines and wings became a reality. The Soarmaster, introduced in 1977, marked the inception of commercial motorization for hang gliders. Sporting a two-stroke engine, reduction system, clutch, and an extended drive shaft attached to the wing frame, the Soarmaster achieved a climb rate of 200 feet per minute, a practical feat. However, challenges arose during takeoff, with the wings sometimes overtaking the running pilot, making launches cumbersome. In flight, Weightlessness or stalls under power led to the glider shooting forward and nosediving, raising safety concerns for widespread use. As engines and airframe technology advanced, the industry witnessed a transformative era. The propeller's relocation lower for enhanced takeoff and flight characteristics, the addition of wheels, and the birth of the trike, regalo wing with a three-wheeled carriage, in the late 1970s marked a significant shift. Trikes now synonymous with both ultralight vehicles and light sport aircraft (LSA) in the industry, emerged as a beacon of innovation. Major trike manufacturers, born in the early 1980s, continue to shape the trike landscape globally. By the 1980s, the burgeoning community of small-powered trikes presented unique challenges to the aviation landscape. In 1982, the FAA responded by issuing Part 103 of Title 14 of the Code of Federal Regulations, 14 CFR, defining ultralight vehicles. These lightweight aircraft, intended for single-occupant manned operation, were exempt from pilot licensing, medical certification, and aircraft registration. However, recognizing the importance of training, the FAA granted an exemption for the use of two-seat ultralight vehicles for training purposes. As the 1990s unfolded, the global sales of both single-seat and two-seat ultralight vehicles skyrocketed. Surprisingly, the demand for two-seat trainers surpassed expectations, leading to the realization that these trainers, initially designed for training only, were increasingly used for sport and recreation. 
This shift prompted the industry to focus on comfort and reliability, resulting in the creation of heavier, more sophisticated machines. Light Sport Aircraft, LSA, a new chapter. To address the evolution of ultralight vehicles and the growing community of sport users, the FAA unveiled new rules on September 1, 2004. These rules introduced a new category, Light Sport Aircraft, LSA, and a corresponding FAA pilot certification called Sport Pilot. The Sport Pilot Certificate set forth limitations and privileges for both the pilot and the LSA. Ultralight vehicles exceeding specified limitations and requiring a Sport Pilot Certificate were classified as LSA, subject to specific certification requirements. Weight Shift Control Aircraft Mastering the Skies Our exploration of the skies deepens as we unravel the fascinating realm of Weight Shift Control WSC, aircraft, remarkable flying machines that defy convention. So, let's delve into the intricacies of these unique aerial wonders. Defining Weight Shift Control Aircraft WSC aircraft, falling within the light sport aircraft LSA, category, distinguish themselves by their single and two-place trikes. Not meeting the criteria of an ultralight vehicle but aligning with LSA standards, these aircraft are governed by the guidelines found in 14 CFR Part 1. What sets them apart is their reliance on the wing's flexible deformation for flight control, rather than conventional control surfaces. Now, let's acquaint ourselves with some common acronyms in the WSC world. We have WSC for weight shift control, WSCL for WSC land, equipped with wheels or skis, and WSCS for WSCC, designed for water operations. For sport and private pilot use, a WSC LSA must be duly registered with an FAAN number, possess an airworthiness certificate, a pilot's operating handbook, PO, and or limitations. Maintenance responsibilities lie with the owner or qualified personnel, with logbooks readily available for inspection. Dual flight controls become mandatory for two-seat aircraft used in training scenarios. Anatomy of WSC Aircraft The carriage, essentially the fuselage, comprises the engine and flight deck, connected to wheels, floats, or skis. Meanwhile, the wing, resembling a sail, involves the structure supporting the sail, battens forming the airfoil, and associated hardware. Now, let's explore some distinctive features of WSC aircraft. The pilot holds the wing structure directly, creating an unparalleled connection between pilot and wing, no mechanical devices intervene. This direct link allows pilots to feel the atmosphere as they navigate through it. While the pilot feels wing movements, the carriage and passenger experience stability. Turbulence is less pronounced compared to fixed-wing aircraft, providing a smoother ride. WSC aircraft allow for interchangeable wings, enabling pilots to choose a large wing for short takeoffs and low-speed flights or a smaller, high-performance wing for longer distances at higher speeds. This adaptability facilitates speeds ranging from below 30 miles per hour to up to 100 miles per hour. The wing can be detached, folded into a tube, and easily transported or stored in a trailer or garage, offering unmatched convenience. Without the weight and drag of a tail, WSC aircraft exhibit enhanced performance. They can take off and land in short fields, boast good climb rates, handle substantial payloads, feature a favorable glide ratio, and are fuel efficient. The typical WSC LSA can carry up to 600 pounds of people, fuel, and baggage. As we progress through this exploration, you'll encounter WSC aircraft with various wing configurations, from bracing wires to struts or a combination of both. While most WSC aircraft operate on wheels, some models are designed for water or snow landings and takeoffs, showcasing the adaptability of these extraordinary flying wonders. Join me as we continue to decipher the secrets of weight shift control aircraft, master the skies, and embrace the freedom of flight like never before. If you click, like, and, subscribe, and leave a comment, we will provide a coupon for a free PDF download one of 9 ebooks. However, each individual can only download up to 1 out of 9 ebooks for free.